hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl tupo if you're new here welcome 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 please subscribe like comment give me a thumbs up guys today i'm going to be showing you two easy ways you can achieve box braids so if you guys want to see how i achieve this look please continue watch all right guys my hair is already washed and moisturized i'm going to be using this super teasy braiding here and this is 48 inches so this comes two in a pack and i'm going to be using two packs so together i'm going to be using four pieces i'm going to be using my rubber bands and my shine and jump and my rat tail comb to achieve this look so what i'm doing is i'm going to start by sectioning my hair so i'm just going to section the back first so you know just a straight line add some shine and jump just to make sure the line is nice and clean and then go ahead and section the hair you know really nice and straight or whatever so the back is going to be sectioned into two so guys what i'm doing is i'm going to section my whole head and i'm sectioning my head into 15 pieces this style what you want to do is not have like too many pieces in your head try to make them as less as possible so 15 was my good number because i wanted them to be thick but not too too thick you know what i'm saying done sectioning the back i'm going to start by sectioning the front so i'm sectioning both sides from my temple right there and then i'll just go to the back and section as well and then get some shine and jump make sure the lines are nice and clean this style right here is very very easy beginner friendly anybody can actually do this sis like you can do this on anybody you can do this on your sister you can do this on yourself you can do this on your mama you can do this on anybody sis how about that and i have to look cute out in these streets and people just gonna be looking at us like sis what is up with you and the switch up on this natural hair you be doing your hair like you're a professional nowadays And then when I get to the top right there, I'm gonna section as well into two, you know, try to make this nice straight on the middle. And then I'll section the hair into two as well. So I'm just gonna section my whole head just the way I did right there. And I have 15 pieces. So this hair is already pre-stretched. Take some shine and jam, okay? And then apply to the hair and then I'll separate the hair into two. I'll take the braiding hair, place it on the middle right there, and then I'll take a rubber band and secure it. So that easy, guys. Oh my gosh, like, you know what? This is the easiest hairstyle that I have ever done. And you're just gonna separate the hair again, give it a little tug, that way you have a nice grip on the root. Okay, sis? So you're just gonna get both of both of the strands, making sure they're nice and equal. You're gonna separate a little piece from that side, one side, and a little piece from the other side. And then together, you're gonna have like three strands, guys. What I'm doing is I'm just gonna take my natural hair, mix it with the hair that I separated from both sides and then tuck it in a little bit and then I'll just start braiding down. So that is very, very easy. And then that way you can just start making like a normal braid, guys. So this is gonna come out like a really nice knotless braid on the bottom and the rubber band is not gonna show, sis. It's not gonna show, you're gonna be good, okay? So I'm trying to make your life so easy but also achieve this nice trendy hairstyle that everybody's doing. And you don't have to go to the shop for it sis okay so this is what i'm doing right there just braiding it all the way down when you get to the to the place where you want your curl to start you want to stop braiding right there just hold it take a rubber band and then secure that area right there the rest of the braid is gonna have actual braiding hair without being braided okay that way you can use the perm rolls to roll the hair have like a really nice curl all right so i'm gonna show you guys again on the front separate the hair into two take the braiding hair place it on the middle and then take a rubber band and secure it when you're done, you're going to take um, you're going to take the hair, you know, your natural hair. You're just gonna separate it into two, give it a little tug. That way, it's really nice and snug on the bottom. You 
we're going to separate a little bit of hair from both sides, making sure they're nice and equal. Both three strands are equal. And then you're just going to start braiding down. You're not just going to let it loose and try to braid it down. You're going to hold it down a little bit on the bottom right there and braid it down. Wow, we're still talking, sis. Have you subscribed to my channel? Don't forget to turn on your notification button so you do not miss out on any uploads because this channel is getting what? Juicy! just gonna braid it down get to the hair where you're gonna measure it with the hair that you already braided making sure you're having like a really nice uniform or whatever and then you're taking the rubber band and securing it Anyways, sis, that's the last one. So the same concept applies some shine and jam, you know, place the hair in the middle and use a rubber band to secure it. Give it a little tug and braid it all the way down. So braid it until you want to have where you want to start the, having the curl um, situation going on. Okay. rewind pause you know try to watch this video over and over and you're gonna get it sis just gonna cut a little bit of the um flyaways or whatever and then i'll make sure my baby hairs are laid okay take my mousse and make sure my hair lays all the way down applying it where you're gonna have like the curls you know as well because you want that to look really nice and juicy okay so these are the perm rods that I got from Amazon I'm just gonna put the link in the description below so you guys can check them out so you're just gonna roll the hair on it and you know secure it that's about it they come about 12 in a pack but I used one and then like three more in the other pack these are nice you can use this on any any hairstyle that you want to have like curls on so I love this okay and you don't, you don't even have to have like a specific way to roll it you can just roll it sis just roll it Anyway, so you're gonna get your boiling water, okay? Making sure you're very careful because you don't wanna burn yourself. Be very careful in this area, guys. What I'm doing is I'm just gonna start dipping my hair in there and then using my towel to dry it. I'm gonna be using my Garnier Moroccan Sleek Oil. I'm just gonna place them on my hand right there and start applying that all over my hair. Cause sis, I'm telling you, the most important part about getting braids is having your hair moisturized. And I'm gonna use my blow dryer just to make sure my hair is nice and dry. We're just gonna take this out, the perm rolls out, and this sis. When I tell you these curls are popping, they're coming through, I'm like, okay, 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 sis. And baby, when I tell you these curls came all the way through, yes, sis. Let me tell you, I am feeling this little curls, little curl situation going on over here. Let me know if you guys are feeling this. Let me know if you guys will be rocking this easy style. Cause let me tell you, you can do this in an hour and you are done, sis. Okay. I cannot be the accessorizing queen without adding some accessories, right? So I decided I was gonna add accessories all over those braids wherever I added the um the little rubber bands. That's where I'm placing this little um gold accessories and bebe this made the braids come all the way through and i had to decide to little you know do a little some some a little style here and there my hair is already washed and moisturized i'm going to be using my raw tail comb and my shine and jump to achieve this look so what i'm going to 
do is I'll start by sectioning my hair from the back. You already know what it is by now, okay? All right, so I'm gonna section my hair from the back, just a straight line, exactly the way I'm doing. And then I'm going to take my shine and jam just to make sure my lines are really nice and clean or whatever. So this is what I like to do. I like to pre-stretch my hair the night before. That way it's really nice and manageable. So what I do is I love to section out my hair before I start braiding, but you can also section out as you go along. So as I'm sectioning, I'm using the rubber band just to hold the hair. That way my lines do not get messed up. That way they look really nice and clean. So once I section the hair in the back, I'm going to start sectioning the hair from the sides so what I recommend you guys to do is get three mirrors okay so one in the front one in the back and one on the side and that will help you so so much trying to section out your hair okay so I have 20 sections meaning I'm going to have 20 braids you already know I love to save time money and everything in 2022 and I'm going to be using this ultra braid braiding hair this is expression hair okay this comes three in a pack and I am using two packs this. and then I'm also going to be using this free trace braid this is the 3x pacific curl it is 18 inches i wanted something that's gonna make this hairstyle come all the way what yes all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to take my hair clips and hold the rest of the hair out of the way and then i'm just going to remove the rubber band that i did hold my natural hair with as i told you guys we're not about to be using rubber bands for this style it was just used to hold my natural hair and then I'm going to take a little bit more of the shine and jump, apply it to my natural hair. That way it is really nice and sleek. I'm just going to section my hair into three. So my natural hair is going to be sectioned into three. And then I'm just going to do a traditional braid, sis, okay? So make sure it is not way too tight. You wanna make sure your crochet needle goes through as well as your braiding hair, sis using this crochet needle you already know just the basic basic crochet needle what I'm going to do is I'm going to section out the braiding hair so I'm going to section out a piece right one big piece and then I'm going to section that piece into two a bigger piece and a smaller piece that way when I look them around it is actually a nice good traditional braid okay so that's all I'm doing right there very very easy very beginner friendly anybody can actually do this so i have a bigger piece and a smaller piece and then i'm going to take the smaller piece of the braiding here so i'm going to take my crochet needle place it in and then i'm going to take the smaller piece of the braiding here so i'm going to go all the way to the corner because i want to be able to place it on my crochet needle and that not you know be bulky or anything like that so once I place it on my crochet needle, I'm going to close the hook and then I'm going to pull it out exactly the way I'm doing. Make sure the sides are nice and equal. That way, once I flip it over, my natural hair is nice and hidden and I can actually do the tucking, okay? It is very, very easy, sis. So as you guys can see, once I flip the hair back, it is already nice and tucking my natural hair in. I'm going to take the bigger piece of the braiding hair, place it on the top, and then I'm just going to start braiding down, sis exactly the way i'm saying very very easy very beginner friendly anybody can actually do this if you haven't done any of my braid tutorials you better try this one sis when i tell you it is going to come all the way through believe me you don't have to worry about when i'm going to place the curly hair in i wanted to make this as simple as possible so you guys better watch this video all the way to the end because you want to make sure you see how i did place the hair in okay so this is what you're gonna do so braid the hair down as you guys can see my hair is nice and tucked in i don't have to do too much work i'm not gonna stress i'm just over here just thriving sis i mean come on we are looking good in 2022 2023 and forever period once i get to the end i'm just going to take a little piece of the hair and then just go around and then tie this into a knot so what I do is I tie it twice, that way it does not unravel, that way I don't have to work twice. <laughs> Take a little bit more of the shine and jump, apply it to my natural hair, that way it is really nice and sleek. I'm just going to section my hair into three. And then I'm just going to do a traditional braid, sis, okay? So make sure it is not way too tight. You wanna make sure your crochet needle goes through as well as your braiding hair, sis. So I'm going to take my crochet needle, place it in, and I'm going to take the smaller piece of the braiding hair. So I'm gonna go all the way to the corner because I want to be able to place it on my crochet needle.
you know and that not you know be bulky or anything like that and then i'm going to pull it out exactly the way i'm doing make sure the sides are nice and equal that way once i flip it over my natural hair is nice and hidden and i can actually do the tucking okay then i'm going to take the bigger piece of the braiding here place it on the top and then i'm just going to start braiding down sis exactly the way i'm saying very very easy very beginner friendly anybody can actually do this this is the easiest tutorial that i've ever done when i tell you i love this technique right here i've done this a couple times i mean this is the easiest technique if you have never done braids in your entire life if you are trying to be a braider actually if you actually wanted to do braids on your daughter or on your mom or on your sister this is the type of technique that you really want to do because it is easy it is fast you can actually do this in an hour and you are out the door okay I'm going to show you guys again I'm going to take your shine and jump apply it to your natural hair making sure it is really nice and sleek or whatever and then you're going to be sectioning that hair into three so three equal pieces and then once you're done you're just going to start braiding your natural hair so i'm just doing a basic basic braid with my natural hair sis i'm not doing anything just make sure it is not way too tight because you want to make sure your crochet needle goes through as well as the braiding hair sis okay i'm going to take my crochet needle place it in and then i'm going to take the smaller piece of the braiding hair place it on my crochet needle i'm going to close the hook and then i'm going to pull it out exactly the way i'm doing so once i'm done placing the hair in i'm just going to make sure it is nice and equal on both sides then i'm going to take the bigger piece of the braiding hair place it on the top and then i'm just going to start braiding down sis exactly the way i'm saying very very easy very beginner friendly a lot of people are like tupo you always say it's easy but when you try this sis you are going to be like, Tupo, where have you been all my life? I've been around, sis. You just didn't know about me. Now, since you know about me, make sure you share these videos with your cousin, your bestie, your mama, and your aunt. Because sharing is caring. And you want everybody to be looking cute in the streets, sis. Don't be greedy. <laughs> Take your shine and jump, apply it to your natural hair, making sure it is really nice and sleek. And then you're going to be sectioning that hair into three. You're just going to start braiding your natural hair. So I'm just doing a basic, basic braid. Just make sure it is not way too tight because you want to make sure your crochet needle goes through as well as the braiding hair, sis, okay? And then you're going to take your crochet needle, place it in, take the smaller piece of the braiding hair, go all the way to the corner place it on the crochet hook close it and then pull it out so once you pull it out you're just going to make sure it is nice and equal on both sides and then i'm going to take the bigger piece of the braiding here place it on the top and start braiding down very very easy sis very beginner friendly anybody can actually do this while we're still talking sis i'm just gonna pause this video real quick for you make sure you hit that subscribe button make sure you hit that notification bell as well that way you do not miss out on any uploads because you want to be the first person to let your sister know that miss tupo just what just dropped another one and it's a banger okay <laughs> Anyway, so once I'm done, I'm just going to take my Jamaican black castor oil and coconut oil mixture and make sure I moisturize my scalp. You already know what it is by now. And then I'm going to take my mousse just to make sure everything is nice and laid, sis, because we want everything to be nice and situated. And then we can also top this off with some hot water just to make sure we're sealing those ends, sis. Make sure those ends are nice and sealed and those little knots are not unraveling. So we're going to seal these ends with some boiling water. Make sure you're very, very careful because this water is hot. I'm going to take my curly hair. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to separate the hair into two. Exactly the way I'm doing. Very, very easy, sis. And then I'm going to be using my crochet needle. This is the easiest way you can add this on. Because a lot of people are like, Tupo, I don't know how to add hair as I'm braiding down. I said, sis, don't worry, I got you. So once you pull it out, you're not going to pull it all the way out. And then take one of the sides of the curly hair, place it in, and then just secure it. 
so just pull it and tug it that way it is nice and secure and if you want it to be really nice and secure you can actually go in twice okay so exactly the way i'm doing very very easy sis very beginner friendly anybody can actually do this if you were having trouble um doing the boohoo braids you didn't know how to add the hair in sis this is how you can do it this is going to come all the way through <laughs> Just gonna take your scissors and just cut all the flyaways so i'm just gonna place the curly hair on each braid sis and you know just to make sure it is nice and cute or whatever and then once i'm done i'm just gonna take my kiss edge fixer and make sure my baby hairs are nice and laid using the brush that i got from amazon you already know what it is by now and then i'm going to be using my silk scarf this is one of our silk scarves this is the hottie purple okay you can find this on our website and baby when i tell you these braids came all the way through yes sis i am living for this boohoo box braids sis oh my gosh i cannot believe how cute this came all the way through sis <laughs> I am here for this braids. I am here for this style. I am here for this size. And I am here for this length. I am feeling these braids. Let me know in the comments below if you guys are feeling them. Let me know if you guys are going to be trying them. Let me know if you guys think this is a hot style or whatever. Because I said, sis, I'm about to jump on this trend, sis. And I did work. And I jumped on it. Okay. And I am loving these braids right about now. And you know I gotta give you a bond situation so I'm just gonna pull the hair to the front just two pieces to the front and then I gotta give you a little bond kind of situation baby I'm loving the little curls oh my gosh they're just making this braids into a nice sophistication kind of thing and they are just coming all the way through yes <laughs> When I tell you, this style has come all the way through as well. Let me know if you guys are feeling it. Let me know if you guys are going to be trying this. And you know, I cannot be the accessorizing queen without adding some accessories. So here we go. I'm going to be adding this gold accessories to the braids and the fronts and baby. When I tell you, I am feeling myself. As you guys can already hear it in my voice, Miss Tupo One is feeling good, looking good or whatever. <laughs> you know we're just gonna do a little style here everything is gonna go up so you guys can see i just you know place the other two up exactly the way i did and just let the curly curlies flow that's all i did right there and sis when i tell you i am feeling good and add a few more accessories to the top right let me there know if you guys are feeling it let me know if you guys are going to be trying this and make sure you're tagging me on instagram when you try this braids make sure you're following me on instagram at tupo one and tiktok as well because your girl doing something over there too okay anyway but make sure you're sharing these videos with your cousin your bestie your mama and your aunt because sharing is caring and i will catch you guys in my next one bye